Hey Cardinals, welcome to week three of Jazz Appreciation Month. This week we will learn about Billie Holiday and listen to her song called I'll Be Seeing You. Billie Holiday has many famous songs, but I'll Be Seeing You is probably the most relevant to our experience with COVID-19. Some of you may have lost a loved one during this tough year, or maybe you struggled during quarantine with isolation. This song talks about the need to feel connected with others. If we have learned anything from our experience, it is the importance of connection. I hope you can empathize, meaning understand how others feel, with Billie Holiday's song and find your own meaning in the words that she sings. Enjoy. This week's jazz singer we will be listening to is Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday was born Eleonora Fagan on April 7, 1915 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Billie had a troubled childhood, with her mother often gone from the home working, and she dropped out of school at age 11. Billie's father was a jazz musician, but he was not involved in her life much. In 1929, Billie and her mother moved to the Harlem neighborhood in New York City, and she began singing in nightclubs in the city to make money. At this time, she changed her name to Billie Holiday. Billie was singing one night when a producer stopped by and heard her sing. He loved her unique style of singing so much that he had her record two songs and sign a record deal. This all happened before Billie's 21st birthday. She then began touring with different bands as their lead singer and stayed on with Artie Shaw's band. This made her among the first black women to work with a white band, an unusual arrangement at the time. This was also the first time a black female singer toured the segregated U.S. South with a white band leader. During this time, Billy faced a lot of discrimination and often got yelled at and called derogatory names while she was performing. She also wasn't allowed to take the same elevators as her white band members and often had to leave the venues through the back. After a few years, Billy's contract with Artie Shaw's band was up and she went on to record her most famous yet controversial song called Strange Fruit. This song is about the horrors of slavery and many radio stations banned the song from being played. The government even sent her warnings to never sing the song again, but Billie refused. As time went on, Billie struggled with addiction, and she was arrested a few times for drug possession. She still toured in America and Europe, and in 1956 released an autobiography and album, both called Lady Sings the Blues. Billie died in 1959 after being diagnosed with liver disease. Billie is considered one of the best jazz vocalists of all time, and she has been an influence on many other performers who have followed in her footsteps. So the song we will be listening to is called I'll Be Seeing You. This song was originally written for a Broadway play, but Billie's version is probably the best well known. You might recognize it if you've ever seen the movie The Notebook. The song became a huge emotional hit during World War II in a country where many loved ones were serving far away overseas. It touched on the reality of wartime separations and loss and helped people remember that even if they can't physically be with someone, they can be reminded of them when they look at the moon or in other places. This song is a mix of sadness, longing, and even hope that the memory of someone will remain even after they're gone. Now let's listen to Mr. Honeycutt on the saxophone, giving us an introduction to Billie Holiday's I'll Be Seeing You. Enjoy.